So it's Physics Error Thursday then, thank you very much for tuning in. And this time it's an error that I made, and this should show you really that even your teachers will make mistakes on some of the harder questions. Don't be afraid to make the errors, just learn from them. Next time I do this type of question in the near future, I'm not going to make the same error again. Um, and in fact, what I'm going to show you is how the, the way I set my, quest, my answer out would still mean that I got plenty of marks, and that is really, really important for your tests. Later on in that lesson as well, we were using the same test and mark scheme. We saw there was an error in the mark scheme. So everybody makes errors. Don't worry about them if you do. Just try your best to learn from them. So this was an error I made whilst I was going through this question on the board. It's a simple one where there's two objects colliding and they're moving as one mass afterwards. You're told the mass of the car, the mass of the van, and you're asked to work out the initial speed of the van. So I found all my data and I plugged in my numbers into this equation here. This is conservation of momentum. The momentum before is equal to the momentum afterwards. And I've inputted my numbers, worked it through, and I ended up with 1.67 meters per second. Then um, I looked at the mark scheme and the answer was five meters per second, the initial thing there. Now, actually, I would have been able to work that if I'd have carefully checked. Because actually, if the... Um, this was 1.67, this would have less momentum than this. So these crumpled object here, uh, the, the new object, the two masses combined, would have been moving off to this direction. So actually, I, know, I knew from the question that it was going in this direction. So because I had set my working out, I could quickly show the class where I'd made that error. And actually, they told me where I made that error because of the way I set it out. Because this is moving in this direction here, and I've called this 5, then this direction to the left is negative. So that had the velocity, velocity is a vector, don't forget, that velocity was minus 1. So then when I rearranged, if you come down to this step here, which is when it actually starts to make a difference, I, I actually end up with minus 7,500 on this side rather than minus 2,500. Okay, and that means I end up with minus 5 meters per second rather than 1.67. Now, not only just for showing and being able to check, but actually for showing the examiner, well, the mark scheme was as follows. Well, you got one mark for using this equation, you trying to show that momentum is conserved. So I got that mark. And you got one mark for being able to calculate a momentum. So understanding the mass times the velocity here, and got 5,000, is calculating the momentum, so two marks. Then, for working through the answer and getting the, the answer correct with my figures, I'd have got the mark there, and I've got error carried forward marks there. The only place I've got something wrong was here, and that means that I'm only going to get penalised once for that. And I would have got four out of the five marks in this question and that is a pretty good percentage you can imagine so although yes absolutely try and get the full marks by showing you're working if you do make any of those sloppy errors that's a sloppy physics error really any of those errors that really you shouldn't be making then you're going to still be able to pick up plenty of marks and still get that grade you deserve there we are i hope that was helpful um don't be afraid of making mistakes. Mistakes are where you learn the most. So next time you do a momentum question, after making that mistake, you're going to be really careful about whether you get your negatives and your positives in the right direction. Um, they're, they're when the best learning happens. Don't, don't be afraid of making mistakes. If you've made any mistakes, perhaps you'd like to share with us a little comment in here. Silly errors, sloppy errors, funny errors, anything that you got wrong. Um, I will probably, probably won't ask you to name errors your teachers have made and certainly don't name names. Thank you for watching Gorilla Physics. Please do like, share and subscribe. That really helps me be more useful to more people. Also, please go ahead and check out Gorilla Chemistry and Gorilla Biology. You can expect the same sorts of things, past paper questions and videos to help you understand topics. Thanks once again for watching.